Hello, 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 and welcome to this live video. This time it looks a little bit different. Um, today I will talk about taking time for what really makes you happy. Taking time to listen to your heart, follow your heart, do what's in your heart. And don't let life or stress or other people or tasks uh, take over. All right? So just waiting for few more people to come on <laughs> and yeah so if you're watching this uh, not live but later you will see that it looks a bit different uh, now I'm trying to use my phone because the last couple of times especially here on Facebook I had problems that uh, the video didn't have sound uh, on f when when I watch it on phones uh, or when people watch it on their phone whereas on the computer it works fine and of course the replay on YouTube looks fine too so I don't know, I guess I have to do some video editing when I put this, before this I put this up here on YouTube um, on my t channel there, but I, so I hope I get it into like widescreen. But uh, yeah, so that's me coming to you live from Norway on a beautiful sunny Sunday. And as always, my name is Tobias and I am a media designer turned video teacher turned musician turned, well, coach <laughs> or at least a creative and artistic person helping other artists to express themselves and to yeah follow their heart express their art uh, no matter what other people say so if you're not into that you don't have to watch <laughs> but if you want to watch thanks for watching so if you want to reach out to me you can find me at tobiasmichel.com all right so uh, also, this is the first time now, you, if you have watched several of my videos, you have probably seen it already. It's cold enough to actually wear winter clothes and a scarf. So, yeah, Norway looks beautiful, but it is actually cold. Uh, yeah, <laughs> if the sun wouldn't be here, it would be almost freezing here. Yes. <laughs> All right, so, um, I don't want to talk too much now, but that was enough of an introduction. So, thanks for being here live, and let's get started. Um, so I just want to share um, about also what I've written here in the description already that um, if you are a creative person, if you are maybe like me and you have multi, you're multi passionate. Me and my wife, we are both very multi passionate, and we work with creativity and we work with uh, like working for clients sometimes, uh, making designs and videos. That's what I do, and I make music and. We work on health and writing a book about health so it's lots of lots of things uh, and of, for me then also I work with different art and not artists clients I mean so non artistic things but like let's say video productions or taking photos or making a website it's different things like that and that's kind of creative work as well but it is uh, something I'm good at and it's like one of my talents but it's not exactly my heart and my passion Right? And I want you to be very, very uh, like honest with yourself and, if, and just make a decision and just start listening to yourself, okay? Be very honest with yourself in the sense of what is it that really makes your heart sing, makes your heart come alive, makes you come alive? What is it that you really enjoy doing the most? And how much time in every day do you actually have for that? So if you're anything like me and you either work for yourself with client projects or your own projects uh, or for or you have a job, uh, then, well, obviously your days and your week is full and packed with different stuff and you're busy, right? So I, if you're anything like me, then not everything you do all day is your main passion. Uh, then I guess you would have made it already. and. Um, you might probably not be watching these kind of videos where I try to help you get into that direction, okay? So that's what I mean. We have to do a lot of stuff that is absolutely worth doing. Um, like for example, like I said, work for clients. If you work freelance, you have to do all kind of different like designs or music or art. If you do art for commission, then obviously you should uh, you need to make money and if you do like if you paint for commission and well you have some clients coming in or if you have a job and you paint at the side well then 
yeah, I know stress and life might take over, but it is really, really important that you listen and find, even especially also if you have your own projects and you have many good ideas. Like for example, for me, um, I enjoy talking. So uh, because I'm in Norway and I'm in this beautiful location, um, I don't get to meet too many people every day face to face. So for me, being here on Facebook and talking to you live, that is something I enjoy doing. Um, so that's part of why I do this. And I mean, nobody, um, how do you say, nobody except myself uh, tells me to when I should go live. There's no schedule other than the one I make myself. There's nothing else. Um, there, like nobody is forcing uh, you or me to do anything that your heart really wants like your art your expression your music your painting your poetry i don't know uh, nobody's forcing you to do that it's only you and it's way 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 too easy for us to just forget that that well since there's no pressure and there's nobody forcing us then maybe many of you at least i am very much inclined to just let it slide a little bit oh well not do it today or you know, I'm too tired, or so many other important tasks, especially if you have kids, small kids, uh, babies. Um, I mean, you probably don't have too much time for yourself. And then you know this, that you have to make time for yourself, right? Uh, as much as you can, at least, which is probably not much. <laughs> but uh, that's what I mean. Uh, you have to make time for your heart, for your art, for your heart to be happy and refreshed. And... Uh, even if nobody forces you to like if life doesn't if life forces you into other directions and doing other things then it's just really really important that you listen like um if you've seen some of my uh music that i've uploaded recently as well like it's like this quiet relaxed uh, meditational hip-hop music in a way like it doesn't have any lyrics it's instrumental mainly or sometimes it's me having like a meditation on top of it and recording some speaking um I do that because I enjoy making the music and I enjoy doing the meditations and I enjoy like making those little videos and uploading them. Um, it is something which I believe can be something I'll maybe get become known for eventually, like my art. It's part of my expression. I Like I said in many videos, I like making music. Um, but also I don't want to overwork myself, so I'm not like, I don't want to be producing pop music uh, no I do something which comes from the heart and where I can relax and I believe that that will also help others to relax and connect with their heart so for me making those kind of um, videos like with the music in and just making music like sometimes it can go by almost a week or it goes by sometimes a week where I don't do any new music don't play or record anything and I can feel that if I'm really honest and listen to my heart to my inside then I can actually feel there's some I don't know stress building up or negativity or a bit of frustration or something I don't really know how to describe it I haven't 100% figured it out to listen to my heart but I know when it goes too long and with everything in life going on I have figured that I become more stable, stable, I'm not insta unstable, <laughs> but still uh, my happiness, my relaxation, I'm becoming more stable, emotionally happy, balanced, if I do more of those things which I have eventually discovered that make me more happy and more, yeah, enjoying it more, life more, uh, my art, um, everything. And of course, on, of course, on a whole other level, that also goes maybe for your spirituality. If you're a Christian, how much time you spend in, in worship, in prayer, uh, in church, if you go, um, all those kind of things, that's another thing. But it's very easy to just be like, uh, you know, especially if you go to a church, you know, every Sunday at a church is happening. So it's almost life forcing you to be there. So then you are more likely to go but for your own art your own happiness in everyday life at home um, again life isn't forcing you to pursue your art 
unless you already have an established art career, then you're probably not here watching this video. But if you're kind of in this in-between stage, you have discovered you want to do art, uh, creativity, music, have an outlet, and you don't have a way to do that yet, then, like I said, make time, listen to your heart. What is it that makes you truly happy? And don't get confused. Just as an example, uh, I thought all music production would make me happy. But like I said, if I want to make very like, I don't know, songs to please everybody, pop music, uh, that is hard work. Then I feel stressed. I never feel it's finished. It's not perfect. And perfection is really bad. So it's not perfect. Well, that's the sign that it's not something that I enjoy in my heart. So I make music that I can enjoy in my heart while doing it and when listen to it. And if nobody else likes it, then at least I'm true to what's in my heart and I get strength and yeah, it makes me happy. And I hope that happiness, that relaxation and everything that the creativity that flows, I hope that makes other people happy as well. So I'm kind of doing it for myself as an expression of my heart. Um, so that's what I mean. So maybe for you, I don't know, maybe you are a writer and uh, maybe you have started writing, I don't know, website copy or email copy uh, for clients. But really you want to write a novel or poems, I don't know. And maybe you have to write for clients to make money. Well, then you need to do that, obviously. But be honest to yourself and schedule time that, okay, on certain days or on certain hours, I will not write all the good logical things that life forces me to for clients. I will write and, write, I don't know, write poems or whatever it is that makes you come alive. All right? So that's what I mean. Listen to your heart, not to your mind only. Not just, okay, it's good to write or make photos or videos for clients yes but make art for you that makes you happy and makes your heart come alive and that is my message today so i hope this wasn't too long and i hope it kind of works and the sound is good um, please leave a comment if this helps you and if you're interested in i don't know having some kind of online group of like accountability Leave a comment about that as well. Um, maybe I can set something up in a couple of weeks. Uh, have a small group of maybe five or max ten people, I guess. Um, something like that. Where we can like have a, a video call or something uh, every couple of days or weeks and keep us accountable. So that is something I can think of doing in the future with you. But that is for now today's video. And with that... Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for everybody who came on live. And with that and beautiful cold Norway view, <laughs> that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching and be blessed.